Hello again, welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is BGFH, and I'm back for another iOS accessible game video here. And I'm going to show you another audio game today, and I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to do with it, um, because a lot of these audio games, um, especially this one and one other one I'm going to try to record, you really do have to have headphones on to be able to tell where things are in the room, because you're basically... It's, you're playing it in like a first person kind of perspective, so you are kind of rotating and kind of turning to uh, line yourself up with objects in the environment in order to uh, use them. And it can be probably a little bit tricky as I'm trying to do this with the speaker, so let's try to pop right into it here. The game I'm going to show you today is called Blindside. So I'll go into it here. To Blindside. Put on your headphones now. Tap the top of the screen to resume your game. Tap the middle of the screen to start a new game. Or tap the bottom of the screen. Welcome to Blindside. Put on your headphones now. Tap the top of the screen to resume your game. Tap the middle of the screen to start a new game. Or tap the bottom of the screen to change game options. Well, tap the top of the screen to erase your progress and start a new game. Tap the middle of the screen to switch between high and low quality. Or tap the bottom of the screen to go back. High quality on. Alright, so let's go new, new game. New game. Starting new game. I have beat this before, so I think we're just waiting for it to load. Good morning. No kidding. Can't see a thing. Let me get the flashlight. Batteries must be dead. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. The noise is outside is starting. I'm gonna get the matches in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Okay. The storm must have knocked out the power lines. Okay, I can do this. My studio apartment is pretty small. It's crowded, even with just my bed, a couch, my dresser, and TV. But my window has a nice view of the fountain across the street. My front door leads out into the hallway, and the kitchen should be on my left. I really should get that faucet fixed sometime, though. This is a test. If you already know how to play the game, tap the center of your screen now to skip the tutorial. Before I risk freezing my toes off in the kitchen tiles, I need to get my slippers. They're by the dresser to the right of the TV. To move forward or backward, touch the top or bottom of your screen. Move forward now by touching the top of your screen. Hold down the button and you'll continue to walk forward. Don't just tap it. Okay. Coffee table. When Case bumps into something, you'll hear the sound of him smacking against it as well as a description of the object. You may want to stop and listen carefully when he speaks. Whenever music is playing, something important is happening around Case, and Case cannot be controlled. So when you hear music, take a minute and listen. When you hear this sound, you are back in control, and Case can be moved again. You can rotate Case left or right by rotating your whole body left or right. Just face the direction you want to go. Try sitting in a desk chair that rotates 360 degrees, or standing in place and turning to face different directions. You can change the way you control case by switching your control scheme in the game's options menu. Now turn to the left by rotating your body to your left. Okay. So this is going to be a little tricky. Because I'm holding the speaker and the phone. Did you hear how the sound in the room changed as you rotated? No, now because I'm using a speaker. the top of your screen. Okay. That was the sound of Case sliding left along the coffee table. It is an important navigational tool. By sliding along objects, you can figure out the confines of the room or keep yourself traveling in a straight line. When you brush against something, it will make a unique sliding sound. It will sound something like this. Now hear the TV static? Turn to the right until Case is facing it, so you can hear it equally in both ears. Oh boy, this is going to be tough because, like I said, I'm using these speakers. Um... Now move towards it. Okay, thank you, tutorial. My 46-inch flat screen. You can tell which way you're facing in a room if you listen carefully for constant noises like this TV, the ticking clock, or the dripping faucet in the kitchen. Exactly. Try rotating 360 degrees by rotating to the right while listening carefully now. All right, so thankfully I am indeed in an office chair while recording this. And as long as I don't get my cord tangled up here that I got my thing going on here... Um, 
I'll be able to do this. So I'm, I'm rotating slowly. Try to picture it in your imagination. It might help to shut your eyes. But don't forget the real world exists. Be mindful where you close your eyes. <laughs> now let's get those slippers. Slide to the right along the TV, keeping the TV static noise on your left. Do it now. If you get turned around and need some help, tap the center of your screen to hear a hint. Case will restate the objective in the general direction of what you're trying to find. You can tap the screen twice to just hear the general direction of what you're trying to find. Tap the screen a third time to stop the hint from playing. Try it now by tapping the center of the screen. I need to get my fluffy blue slippers. They're in the dresser to the right of the TV. There to my right. Okay. Now, continue sliding along the TV and find the dresser. Ah, slippers. My armor against the cold tile floors. Now it's time to get the matches. <laughs> now, go find the matches in the kitchen. Listen carefully and good luck. Okay, so now, I remember he said the kitchen was to the left, so I'm going to turn my body to the left a little bit in my handy-dandy little office chair here. The hollow door to the bathroom. It's shut. Okay. The fridge! I wonder if Don would mind if I had a beer right now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Hmm. Uh. Come on. The drawer with matches in it. Yay. What the hell? What's wrong? Um, I'm not sure. Let me uh, let me check in the hallway real quick. No, I'm in the kitchen. Just a minute. I'll be right back. So I'll tap the damn, center of the damn, screen. Yeah. Okay, the apartment door is just to my right. So let's rotate to our right again. A little bit. The door to the hallway. Trying to get to the it's hallway. Out. This is the wrong apartment. Mine has Don in it. Cindy, is that you? Case, oh, I'm so glad it's you. I, I think I'm blind. I, I woke up and I can't see anything. Can, can, can you help me get to the hospital? Damn it. Don and I can't see either. We need to call 911. Okay, well... With that, I think I'm going to end Who's the there? demo. Arnold? Case? Let's see what this does here real quick. Oh. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I'm coming. Hold on. Saving checkpoint. That sounds pretty horrific. Okay, so I'm going to end the demo there. Um, mainly because, like I said, without playing with head, without playing the game with headphones, um, it's really kind of tricky. I'm surprised I actually got as far as I did in the game without them. Uh, but you get the idea. This one, I think, is actually a really well... Um, Really, the audio is really well done, and I like the idea of actually rotating, you know, turning yourself, turning your body in, like an, in an office chair or standing, um, and that's how you actually turn. So that's kind of a neat idea, although if you play it in certain areas, you obviously you're going to look maybe a little bit weird, but I really like the idea, and again, this was a game that was pitched as a, I believe as a mainstream game because a lot of people they're trying to find different ways to use especially with these mobile devices where you know you don't have your regular controller support and things like that so 
rather than just doing you know really you know virtual buttons and things like that, um, how do you know how can you make use of the medium? You know we're not going to get the control fidelity that you would get on a console. Um, and somebody you know people don't want to just make the same runners or kind of really simple touch based games. And I really love some of the audio titles that are audio only games that are coming out on the iPhone. Some of them are really really cool. This being one of them. We have Papa Sangre, which I've also tried to record. The The two games that that company made, the Papa Sangre and the Nightjar, I tried recording as well, but unfortunately they will not record. So I'm not able to show those to you, but I will write about them at some point on the blog. But back to uh, Blindside, it's a really kind of really, I just, a really cool idea that was developed for a mainstream audience and naturally be being an audio game the blind and visually impaired can play it just as well, if not better. And I've actually read some of the app reviews and comments, which is actually kind of funny because sighted people who try to play these games have a lot more trouble initially. And <clears throat> whereas a blind person, because they're used to, and I really like the way they described even even in the tutorial how to get around the environment, kind of you know trailing techniques and things like that. Um, because that's some techniques that are, that blind people actually will use to get around. You know, they'll f follow a wall or follow a large object to get around it. Use your audio cues. So you heard the dripping faucet. You heard the TV. You heard the clock. Um, you heard the the lady in the hallway crying. And then when I exited the game, there you heard the monster chowing down or whatever that thing was and then you heard your wife or girlfriend I forget which one it is uh, but you heard her calling your name to come back to her so you know you follow her voice to get back to her so the navigation is really well done in this game and that's the way a lot of these audio titles work so if you are interested in let's say the night jar or Papa Sangre um, you can get a pretty good idea. They control differently, but the way the audio works, you'll get a rough idea of what to expect for those types of audio games. And like I said, I really, really like them. I've beaten all three of these games, the Papa Sangre, Nightjar, and Blindside. And uh, they're all fairly short. This one especially is a little bit shorter, but there are some parts in there that are really tricky. So... It can definitely take a little practice to do, um, but that should give you a rough idea of what this game is all about. It's called Blindside. It is available in the App Store now, and I don't remember how much it costs, but uh, well worth it. I think you know some of the voice acting maybe is a little bit forced, but hey, you know for uh, I, I think overall it does a really good job. The sound effects are really well done. And uh, I just, I really, really like, I'd really like to see more of these audio games because I'm really starting to enjoy them. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. That is Blindside. And uh, we'll wrap it up here. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.